Three questions mankind has been struggling to answer for decades and decades, maybe even centuries. You know, what's the meaning of life? Why is there evil in the world? And which is better, centralized or decentralized maintenance? You know, both have their pros and cons. Um, you know, which is better is really the wrong question. This is Joe Kuhn of Lean Driven Reliability, uh, bridging the gap between best practices and the reality that you live in, in every day. So let's take a look at this on my whiteboard here. Uh, centralized, this is kind of background. It's gonna lead to a commitment. I, I promise you I won't just leave you hanging with which one I believe is best. Uh, but centralized maintenance, pros. Uh, there's common processes. Uh, acceptance of best practices, uh, sharing of resources, you know, like m maybe it's an aerial lift, maybe it's people. You can move them around the plant based on where the needs is. And typically these cost less. If you just purely look at uh, the number of shops that you need to have, the number of people that you need to have, and equipment, you can put together a pretty easy argument that this will cost less on those expenses. The cons of centralized maintenance are this tendency to get disconnected from operations. You're kind of working on your own agenda and operations could be dying and there's not a close link there. That's, that's the con. So let's take a look at decentralized maintenance. The pros, very close relationship with the customer. They go to the same meetings. They're, they eat lunch in the same uh, uh, lunchroom. You know, in quick response to changing needs, that connection there is, is very, very tight. You know, on the con side, you know, the urgent always trumps the strategic. Emergency work always takes priority. And, and sometimes that's, that's not the right call. Uh, you know, you can't, you know, uh, you can't get out of that emergency uh, work death spiral if you're only doing emergency work. You know from other videos you have to do planned work. Best practices always take a step uh, back seat. You know, maybe the, the person leading this de department de doesn't have a strong maintenance background and it's all about the here and now. Let's, let's, let's fix things today. We'll do best practices uh, tomorrow. Resources tend to be hoarded over here. You know, if you have a good mechanic, good electrician, or you have a good piece of equipment to do work, you say you need it, okay? So uh, as a result, this can cost more, okay? It, it really can cost more. So, uh, really, which one of these is best? Well, that's really not the right question. The question is, what problem are you trying to solve? You know, if you need to deploy best practices, you know, and that's, that's the, uh, the plant that says, hey, this is what we need to do, uh, you know, and standards, you know, so everybody is doing it the same best way, you know, centralized is better, okay? Oh, I think I pointed the right direction. <laughs> you know, if you need to align resources around driving OEE of a bottleneck PC or four or five bottleneck PCs in the department, you know, hey, decentralized is better. So, you know, I am going to take a stand on this, though. Um, you know, decentralized is best. No question in my mind. You know, operations must lead reliability. This will tend, centralized tends to make it an us and them it's a maintenance or a production issue and reliability is owned by maintenance. And as you've heard in other videos, it, it, operations really needs to be the, the leader of, reliab of the reliability effort. Sorry about that. There are advisors and deciders inside of reliability. The deciders are operations. The advisors is a reliability and maintenance, no question. Um, number two on why I believe that, that was number one, operations must lead, number two, you know, a good plant lead team, you know, can counteract these negatives, can counteract the negatives that are associated with decentralized. You know, they, they need to accept best practices, and as a team, you decide to deploy best practices and, uh, and share resources. You can easily overcome that with a functioning lead team. You know, the dollars that are saved by centralized, I said this costs less over here, can be more than overcome, overwhelmingly overcome by the benefits of driving OVE, driving quality improvements and that, with that co close connection with operations. Uh, that's where the big money comes in. The problem solving and the alignment with operations and operations led can overwhelm the pennies that you're saving over here in labor cost uh, with that structure. You know, uh, you know, and, and uh, number th four, I guess I'm on. Another strong uh, recommendation of mine is to, to have a very good R&M leader. You got to have somebody at the plant 
that, that knows the best practices and then is, is actually influential across organizational lines. So just because, you know, if I'm the, um, the maintenance and reliability leader uh, of best practices at the plant, that the production leaders in the different, uh, on the different uh, work centers listen to me and I have influence over them. You know, an exception where I think centralized is better is like your PDM team, your condition monitoring team. They're highly specialized, highly trained individuals that can really work across lines and work as a team to help each other. Like the the guy driving UE and Vibe need to be partners, and, and you know, the Lube Techs need to be partner. Uh, I, I highly recommend that those stay centralized. You know, and last thing, you know, have an experienced guide that has been on this path of driving reliability, driving asset ownership by operations, uh, can, can save you from the traps, save you from all these cons, either way, uh, a person that's been there before. Uh, sounds like an advertisement, right? Um, hey, folks, begin your journey. This stuff really isn't that hard. If you need help from me, send me an email. I'll, I'm glad to offer you free help uh, via email drop a, a comment in this video. If you need an experienced guide, reach out to me. I guarantee I can shave years off your deployment. Thank you.